If you wanna play your favorite games just like the masters, follow Will's tips because he's the fucking man. Will's video game tips. Ultimate, ultimate video game tips. Damn it. How to play the original Half-Life. The original Half-Life is a game fraught with perils. Health kits and ammo can be scarce, while enemies are almost always in abundance. Luckily, you play as Gordon Freeman, the only scientist in the entire Black Mesa complex that has been gifted with top-level military combat training. Although the intro sequence is pretty relaxed, allowing new players to get comfortable with the game, it also sets the tone for one of the most important aspects of Half-Life, claiming revenge on the security guards. That's right, the security guards in this game are so cocky and or complacent and or stupid that it becomes Gordon Freeman's top priority to claim revenge on every single security guard he meets, even to the detriment of saving the world from evil aliens, which we find out in Half-Life 2, Gordon utterly fails to do anyway. Either way, Gordon's priorities are your priorities, even if you disagree with him. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Good morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. This is what we call an asshole. Hey, Mr. Freeman, I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. In security guard lingo, system crash is greater than or equal to, whoops, I downloaded too much porn. And trying to find my files is greater than or equal to, my head is way up my ass. Unfortunately for Gordon, Mad Dog Freeman, you can't do anything about that rudeness just yet. So grab your HEV suit and marvel at how fast Gordon Hair Trigger Freeman can run while listening to the banging techno track that your suit plays for you to get you completely psyched out of your mind for the scientific work that awaits you in the testing chamber. Next you'll need to talk to these guys about some fake scientific crap just to remind you that humble Gordon Freeman is the most unlikely hero on the face of the earth. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of gamble, but we need the extra resolution. Standard insertion procedures. Then prepare to watch your PhD in theoretical physics go completely to waste as you run around and perform manual labor for the scientists who are actually pushing buttons and twisting knobs in the tower. Then be the guinea pig by pushing the strange yellow rock into the strange yellow beam. Then watch as everything you've ever worked toward gets totally raped by explosions and laser beams. Oh, good job, Gordon. You're fired. So next you need to find the crowbar, which is obviously the most powerful and useful weapon in the game. Then immediately locate the nearest security guard, bash his head in, then steal his pistol. Then the revenge can truly begin. Hey, what the hell are you doing down here? Get whoa, whoa, wait, back that up. Let's take a look at that again, but this time in super slow motion. Hey, don't count on the cavalry finding us down here. And eventually, you're gonna want to take out revenge on the scientists also, cause I mean, hey, I don't see them picking up guns and helping out. And finally, you're gonna have to do some crazy Super Mario Brothers jumping type crap in order to get from place to place. Good luck with that one. This concludes Will's ultimate video game tips for the original Half-Life.